Once again, big parcel from Japan with Nintendo consoles. Maybe some retro this time, not sure. Not sure, honestly. So, we will see. Let's just get this seal open. This came in about five days. I got it chipped with FedEx. So, it came pretty fast. And I actually have another parcel that also has to come... Or no, I haven't actually ordered it yet. I'm still waiting for some things to come in Japan before I parcel them together and send them out. So, yeah, some cute figures, origamis, that's what they're called. Wow, okay, let's start with this. Okay, already know what this is. So, let's just get this out of here. So, you might already be able to tell a new 2ds xl no stylus no sd card no game the hinge i can't remember is that average that's about how they're supposed to be i think not a good hinge on the new 2ds xls yeah sound works no 3d to check yeah, I mean, no yellowing. Um, might just need a clean and... Yeah. Might just need a clean and a uh, mod and a region change because it's Japanese, of course. Then we have... Oh, yeah. Then we have a new 3DS XL. Which needs to charge, but it looks... In really good condition, I would say near mint on the top. On the bottom, a little scratches, but it's fine. Don't need to replace the shell or anything before selling. Let's see here. New 3DS XL, blue, dark blue. A little scratches on the bottom screen. A little scratches on the top screen. Looks fine though. Let's see here. 3D works well, no yellowing. I'll have to test more functions later, but for now, looks fine, looks fine. Next, oh my God, yeah, there's a lot of new 3DS XLs in here. Yeah, let's do this one. I'm guessing this is not a new 3DS XL. Just from the, okay, never mind. I thought it was a DSi XL. Yeah, so this parcel is gonna have a lot of new 3DS XLs because I needed a restock, but, but, okay, it might just be new 3DS XLs, actually. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see when I'm uh, closer to the end here. Yeah, another one, looks fine. No freaking way. I wonder how much I paid for this. If, if this is only going to be new 3DS XLs, I'm going to check how much I paid for this. And uh, just shove it in right now. As yeah, so you can see, this cost me 234,000 yen with uh, shipping, which was sent with FedEx. And that is $1,530, something like that. Actually, maybe even more. What happened to the US dollar in the recent days? What the hell? Yeah, yeah, but that's that. So yeah, I paid that, that much. Is this wet? Or is it because I just washed the dishes? Maybe I had some, something right between my fingers or something. Let's get this open. I don't really care about the bubble wrap because there's not much of it here. Like this, I'm just gonna throw out anyways. Yeah, oh, this one looks near mint. Inside, near mint, too. And it has screen protectors. Right? Wait. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? I'm tripping. Okay. I'm tripping. Damn, it looked like here, like there was some, uh... yeah, but this screen is a little yellowed. 
it looked like there was a screen protector. I'm, I usually am able to detect if there are screen protectors. I'm guessing this one had a screen protector and that's why I thought it had a screen protector. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's soon Christmas. This one I can try to preserve the bubble wrap on because I mean, this one, it, it's just uh, easy tape. So I can just easily reuse the bubble wrap later. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's soon Christmas, so I need to just restock on the product that earns me the most money. So, um, yeah, charger. Another one. I'll have to replace the bottom on this one. Oh, pretty deep scratch on the screen here. I think I'll replace the bottom touch. Yeah. I think I will... Yeah, I mean this video, not sure, might be boring one unless I get, I get scammed. So we have a red one. I mean it's good because now I have finally linked up my website to the platform that I usually get my sales on. So now everyone has to buy through, or almost everyone. I still have one normal listing up, but soon, in like 20 days or something, Everyone will have to buy from my website or they won't be able to buy anything. So uh, yeah, boom, red one. A little scratches on the bottom screen too. Otherwise, really nice condition. Yeah, I mean, per console, I pay about 21,000 yen, just like in Japan when I buy on auctions, not counting shipping, not counting any, any of that. Just like pure, how much I pay for them in Japan, it's about 21,000 yen. Sometimes 20, sometimes even 23,000 yen, but um, that's what I pay per console. I mean, next, the next parcel is gonna be more interesting and there's gonna be more too. Yeah, screens on this one look beautiful. Oh, bottom, yeah, I'll have to change that. But yeah, a lot of new 3DS XLs in this one, but as I said, there's going to be a lot of other different consoles and uh, more consoles on the next parcel, which I'm going to open in about a week, something like that. Ooh. I think like if I weren't re registered as a business, I wouldn't even earn money on these consoles, I think or barely earn money because like FedEx, I have to ship with FedEx. And since I run a business, I get like, I don't have to pay any import taxes or anything like that. And I don't have to pay a FedEx tax. I only have to pay like 85 uh, or $8 for like something like that FedEx registers it in Norway or something. That's all I have to pay for. No import taxes because that would be really expensive. But thank God I'm out of business. So I get everything imported. I mean, not free. It costs still about $100 to import everything, but not as expensive as if I was a, as if I wasn't registered as a business. Is this really gonna be new 3DS Excels? Yes. I, I'm sorry, I actually thought it was gonna be other consoles too, but um, yeah, I guess This is gonna be a little different video. I Actually, I actually had no clue. I mean, yeah, I have one new 2DS XL in here, but it's nothing special. Oh Yeah, so this one needs covers Okay, yeah, this one needs a clean change a stick. Oh I thought it was gonna be Sticky, but it's not. Needs to charge too. Might be defective actually, because I mean it. Mmm, mmm. I'll have to charge that up. You know what? This video has only been going on for like nine minutes and something. So you know what? I'm also gonna charge up the two new 3DS XLs that did not want to charge. Oh, and I actually th no, no, never mind. Uh, I read that in one of the consoles I bought, 
the battery was taken out because for some reason. But I, I don't think this is this batch. I think it's the next one. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Does this one work? Yes. Pretty good looking. Pretty good looking. Like from a certain angle, the dark blue new 3DS XL looks purple. Like if I look at this from here, it looks purple to me. Maybe not for the screen, I don't know. But it looks purple. Yeah, screens look fine. So now, I'm gonna charge up the two new 3DS XLs. Oof. That had to be charged. Wait, it was this one? Yeah. No? Wait. Does it now work? This one? Oh, it works now. What? Because I did not have one with that screen before. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? I think I have to clean the power switch. Because it's really weird. What? Now it works. What? Yeah, I mean, this one is strange. Oh, it has custom sounds. That's cool. It even has YouTube. <laughs> yeah, now it works. What? That's strange. Yeah, but you know what? Let me now just charge up this one and we'll see if it works. Yeah, so it seems like this one is actually missing a battery. I am charging it and after five seconds, the light turns off again. So now I'll try to open this up, put in a battery and we'll see if it works. Yep, so it's missing its battery. Now let's put in a brand new one and power's on. Come on. Usually if the battery is taken out, that's not a good sign. Okay, but it has been factory reset, which is a good sign. Yeah, I mean, that's that. So I have in total one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, come on. Nine, ten, ten new 3DS XLs and one new 3DS XL. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.